like what? It's March 25th, and this is Yesterday in 5 Minutes, or less. We're brought to you by the incredible people at Unomia CBD and Linode.com. Check the description below for details on exclusive deals that you can't get anywhere else. Okay, touchy subject time. The things I'm about to say aren't to make you feel stupid. It's not to endorse anyone or anything. Also, the things that I say on this episode and all the rest of the episodes don't reflect the views or opinions of our sponsors. I'm just trying to help because facts matter. And my audience, that's you, matters to me very, very much. Now that that's out of the way, here we go. Do you know who Sidney Powell is? Here we go, trashing Republicans again. That's not what I'm about to do. If your main source of news comes from people who just sit in their car and scream at you, you might want to stick around. Everybody still with us? Sydney gets her own show today. You might recognize Sydney Powell as the ultra conservative, super pasty lady who generally looks like a cartoon slug from Fox News or One America News. She's 65 years old and was born in Durham, North Carolina. She's probably best known for representing the executives during the Enron scandal, defending Michael Flynn, promoting QAnon, and spreading conspiracy theories. For a time, she was part of the Trump legal team that was trying to overturn the 2020 election. She's the Kraken lady. If you don't remember, the Kraken lawsuit was supposed to prove the biggest election fraud in election history. It got laughed out of court. To be fair, it wasn't just her. Lynn Wood, Ron Watkins, and many other people contributed to this. But they didn't do what Sydney did this week. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. After she baselessly claimed that Dominion and Smartmatic stole the 2020 election, Sydney Powell was sued by Dominion and Smartmatic. Dominion Voting Systems is suing her for $1.3 billion, and Smartmatic is suing her for $2.7 billion. That's $4 billion for the people in the back. They're also suing Rudy Giuliani, the My Pillow guy, Fox News, a bunch of reporters from Fox News, and a bunch of other people. Sydney got the worst of it because, quite frankly, she's pretty much the worst of them. I don't think she's worse than Lynn Wood. This guy is a trip. Back to Sydney. Sydney Powell is currently trying to get the Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit thrown out. Most notably, though, she said that no reasonable person should have concluded that her accusations of Dominion rigging the election were statements of fact. That's a fancy way of calling you stupid. If you believe that the election was stolen, if you have shared a video from Fox News or One America News about Dominion stealing the election, if you've argued with friends and family about Dominion stealing the election, if you've unfollowed people like me for trying to tell you that Dominion didn't steal the election, more than anything, if you donated to her Kraken Fund, if you gave her anything at all, she doesn't view you as a reasonable person. Again, a fancy way of saying that she, not me, thinks you're stupid. This isn't an I told you so video. Hopefully you can see from past episodes that I'm trying to be fair. This is a fuck people like Sydney Powell video. I heard somewhere the difference between misinformation and disinformation. You want to hear it? What does it mean? Misinformation is when you share false information without knowing that it's false. Disinformation is when you share false information knowing that it's false. A lot of people are misinformed right now, and that's okay. It sounds stupid, but that's what I'm trying to help with. I don't know everything. This show is seriously as much about informing myself as it is about trying to inform you. Seriously, did you think that I already knew all that shit that I said about cicadas yesterday? That's it for yesterday in five minutes. If you like this video, please make sure you like it down here, subscribe, share it with your friends. Head over to mbnnetwork.com to check out all the great podcasts that we're doing. Also, make sure that you follow Might Be Brews podcast on Facebook. They're going live tonight around 8 o'clock, and it's going to be a great time. Podcast comes out tomorrow. We've also got cool buttons now. This one makes you a subscriber. Here's more episodes of this show, and here's a podcast. I'm Taylor Cooper. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll